discussing the approximate forms of the current over potential equation in which uh, in previous lecture we have discussed about the current over potential equation uh, given as equation number one in which we have discussed the no mass transfer effects for this condition we had derived uh, equation number two that is known as butler volmer equation now we are going to uh, discuss the application of this butler volmer equation that is the approximation of equation number one for the condition of no mass transfer effects uh, in which uh, these terms are considered to be equal to one so this uh, equation one was modified to this uh, butler volmer equation so let's uh, discuss the equation number two that is the butler volmer equation for very small values of over potentials so for very very small values of x e raised to power x can be written as one plus x so uh, this is the simplification of the power series of uh, ex so e, if you observe closely uh, the equation number two we have uh, two ex term so we can simplify these terms according to this approximation so we can write uh, current is equal to exchange current into 1 plus here we have an x term so we can write as minus alpha and f eta over rt minus 1 plus 1 minus alpha into n f eta over r t so here we can uh, simplify this equation as total current is equal to the exchange current into minus eta f that is nf over rt so alpha term have been cancelled here we get equation number three which is showing that the net current is linearly related to the over potential when the value of over potential is very small that is near to e equilibrium as we know that over potential is the difference between the applied potential and equilibrium potential so this condition is applicable for small value of eta that is actually the very small uh, variation of the applied potential from the equilibrium potential so it's near to the equilibrium so we are going to uh, apply this approximation for the narrow range of the potential around e equilibrium so here we can see that the dimension of eta over i is in the dimension of resistance so here minus eta over i is actually equal to resistance known as charge transfer resistance
so here we are uh, in position to replace this value of charge transfer resistance in equation number three to get this equation number four which is showing the general gas constant temperature number of electron transferred Faraday's constant and exchange current so here interfacial charge transfer resistance actually uh, serve as a convenient index of kinetic facility of redox reaction that is actually the interfacial charge transfer so this parameter is usually evaluated directly in some experiments usually uh, in electrochemical analysis and uh, this value depicts the value of uh, k naught that is uh, standard rate constant so we can uh, confidently say that for very large value of standard rate constants RCT that is the interfacial charge transfer resistance approaches to zero. Now let's discuss the uh, Tafel behavior at large eta that is an approximation of a butler volmer equation uh, for large value of over potential the value of uh, eta k can be either negative or positive here we can consider uh, one of the term in the butler volmer equation for the application of either negative or positive eta values now let's consider um, large negative over potentials for this case the exponential term that is minus alpha will become much higher than the other exponential term so we can ignore the second term here as we have uh, discussed the behavior of butler volmer equation in which the uh, first term is showing the contribution of the cathodic component whereas second one is showing the contribution of anodic component when we are uh, applying very high values of uh, over potentials that is negative so this component must have higher con contribution as compared to the anodic component So uh, here we can uh, modify butler volmer equation as current is equal to the current density that is the exchange current minus alpha nf eta over rd. In electrochemistry, we usually study only anodic or cathodic uh, component or sometime uh, in uh, electroanalytical measurements we observe only anodic or cathodic component as first term is uh, uh, indicating the contribution of the uh, cathodic component uh, it depicts the 
reduction reaction where as anodic contribution show the oxidation and for very high values of eta this term is negative in power so the exponential of negative power is negligible now here uh, we can simplify the modified equation known as approximate form of the butler wormer equation uh, with application of large negative over potential so now uh, by taking the log natural of this whole equation now rearranging this equation we get uh, uh, the modified equation now here we can uh, write this equation in terms of the value of eta so eta will be uh, equal to rt over alpha and f log natural of exchange current density minus rt over alpha and log natural of current so here we have uh, discussed earlier that the exchange current density for particular reaction is a constant factor so we can uh, say all these terms uh, in the first component of uh, uh, right hand side are all constants so we can call it constant a and here we, these are also constants so we can say constant b so now we can rewrite this equation as eta is equal to a plus b log natural of i so this equation is very famous equation known as traffel equation This equation have been derived uh, using the approximation where the uh, reduction is considered while the anodic contribution is less than 1% in table equation the constant a is given as while b is equal to here we can uh, replace the value of uh, r t and uh, f and uh, these equation can be modified further to So this Teffel form is uh, expected to hold whenever the back reaction with the anodic process when the net reduction is considered or vice versa. So whenever we are talking about uh, any kind of uh, the charge transfer uh, may be due to reduction or oxidation the other inverse process must have minimum contribution so we can uh, simplify the 
butler wolmer equation in a form of the ratio that's the anodic contribution over cathodic contribution that is equal to so uh, according to the one person contribution from the anodic component we can uh, write the value as less than 0 0.01 and uh, the value of eta according to this value will be equal to 0.118 over n in volts so here a uh, value of alpha is taken as 0.5 so for value of alpha is equal to 0.5 and is equal to 1 the value of constant b uh, would be round about 0 0.118 which is uh, usually uh, quoted as a typical tafel slope we will uh, discuss it later on so here we have a few points to be considered so first one is the condition when the electrode kinetics are fairly facile means uh, the value of standard rate constant is sufficiently high for these kind of uh, uh, reactions, the tafel behavior does not fit. Whereas this behavior is perfect for the sluggish. electrode kinetics where significant over potentials are required So here a very important point uh, is needed to be uh, remember about the TAFL relationship which shows that the TAFL behavior is an indicator of totally irreversible kinetics and the system in this category alone no significant current flow except at high over potential where the ferradic processes are effectively unidirectional unidirectional and thus they are chemically irreversible so here uh, we had applied 
applied the approximation that uh, the uh, reduction or the ap application of large negative over potentials were uh, used for the calculation uh, or the derivation of the equation number six uh, that is uh, a form of uh, Tafel equation similarly we can apply uh, another approximation that is the inverse of the uh, large negative over potential that is the application of uh, large positive over potential for by applying the large positive over potential we can derive uh, the Tafel equation as here we get uh, equation number 8 in which eta is equal to a plus b e log natural of i so here uh, this vector is b and this one is a now here we have uh, a graphical uh, representation of the Tafel uh, behavior in which uh, current over potential have been plotted with respect to log natural of the current absolute value in this plot uh, we can see there is an anodic branch which is showing the exponential the exponential behavior of the eta versus uh, current in uh, log form so if uh, these linear uh, segment is extrapolated uh, towards the x-axis with value of eta is equal to zero the intercept will give the value of the log of exchange currents so here we can see the approximations of the butler wolmer equation in which at higher uh, values of eta we can see the linear segments uh, showing the values of the slopes and uh, uh, intercept but experimentally uh, at uh, low values of eta as we have discussed in part b uh, with no mass transfer effects and small eta values we had uh, seen the exponential so that is shown in the form of uh, logarithmic form and uh, here uh, the real trend is deviating from uh, this linear form is due to the contribution of the contrasting component uh, that can not be considered uh, negligible for example uh, for this side here the contribution must be considered as the maximum contribution from the cathodic reaction to make this linear trend but actually the contribution of the anodic uh, component is uh, considerable making this linear trend to, to deviate to this curved part and here uh, the exchange current density can be calculated from the extrapolation of these linear segments uh, from either side so in this lecture we have uh, derived uh, this Tafel equation that is the fundamental equation uh, which is uh, basically derived for the reactions at the surface of the electrode on only while ignoring all the mass transfer uh, processes including migration diffusion convection and other coupled uh, uh, redox reactions so these uh, equations which uh, have been derived uh, in few previous lectures are applicable for the uh, understanding of the kinetics of heterogeneous charge transfer at the surface of electrode through the uh, reduction and oxidation of analyte species